I want to say um, we're, ble- um, we're very blessed to get um, Coach Chizik. Um, one thing he brings to the table is our structure. He making sure um, we all got our head on right, that this is what we want, that we on the winning page. Um, what, the one thing he strives himself on is accountability, just holding ourselves accountable. Um, every each one of our players, he gives us a task, he tells us to do something, and we'll do it. And he's b- buying in. Um, he's having us make us buy in. So, yeah. Um, gives us a lot more chance to make plays, I'll tell you that, um, in the secondary. He's running more of zone coverage, you know, more of a man as well, but he's getting to um, zone coverage more than we did ran last year. Yes, sir. So what's it been like now kind of going through the college process and now when you're you know, one of the more veteran guys? Um, it's been a journey. It's been a long process. It's been, it's been a long process. And just having, like, young kids coming in now and just looking back and saying, like, I was really in their shoes or, like, hearing the words that they say coming out their mouth that saying, like, I used to say the exact same thing. It just, it's just you grow and you learn. And just I'm growing as a person. Um, I'm growing better as a football player on the field. I'm growing better off the field as well. So, yeah. And then you changed you change your number, right? Yeah, I changed my number to number one. So that's typically a pretty big deal. I mean, how much is the story behind that? What do you say? What's the story behind the number change? Um, that number one sexy. I mean, <laughs> I'm good like that. I mean, yeah. just putting it in the corner is sexy. So, yeah, I changed my number. Did y'all get my player Um, when me and Dre talk about, um, definitely consistency. Um, I have to be consistent this year. And me being consistent helps me in the draft. And that's where I want to go. I want to go to the draft. So I have to be more consistent. I got to play every, um, every game like it's my last. Um, I got to do better than last year. I didn't have a great season as I suspected. So he's been more hard on me in our conversations. Um, we've been watching more film, taking notes together. So it's going to be a good year. Oh, yes, yes. Um, just talking to someone that's been through Carolina, that's been in the league, that's made it to the Pro Bowls, Hall of Fame, just having his words of wisdom just gives, you know, better courage. So, how pivotal was he in your process? Huge, huge. I want to say huge. Um, I want to say I got a call from Dre when I was on a trip to Texas a and and just, just that conversation I had with him was just – Amazing, so I was like, all right, well, it's, I found my school, so it was always amazing. He thinks very highly of you and your potential, and you being ready to kind of like take that next step to be that next big time quarterback, why do you feel so high? One, he believed like, I could do it. Um, he sees something in me. He sees something in me that, like, my father sees in me. Like, he sees that kind of player that I can take it to the next level, that I can be that next top corner in the league, the talked about, the award winning. So he's, he's, he sees something in me that I see in myself. Does that, does that still more confidence in, in you with your ability to go out and, and, and how can you, you know, prove yourself right, prove him right? Yes, yes, um, most definitely. Um, I definitely have – um, I won't say it's a lot of pressure, but I definitely have a lot of, you know, challenges alone, a lot of goals to get through to be that person. So, yeah. Share any of those goals? Nah, <laughs> not right now. Tony, you were saying that you didn't have the season that you expected last year. Like, when you had gone back and looked at the season you had last year, you said that you were pretty happy with the season you had last year. And you said that you didn't have the season that you had last year. And what stands out that you did not like, like, specifically? And, like, do those moments, are they driving you now, you know, as you're getting ready for this season? Um, I want to say I wasn't. I wasn't as physical um, as I wanted to be on the field. And to make it in the league, um, coaches love physical DBs. So I won, I got to be more physical on the field and I got to be consistent. I got to make plays when the ball is in the air and man coverage in his own.
Um, it definitely makes it a lot easier. It definitely makes it a lot easier, like, learning the coverage more, learning where your support is, um, where you have help at, learning better concepts from the offense as well, you know, seeing more. You know, when you're a man, you most – sometimes you got your back turned against quarterback all the time. You really can't see. But you can really break down concepts, still you more picks and get to the end zone. Has, has that also carried over from a communication standpoint? He said how he sort of used communication from, like, the back forward where mm-hmm. it starts to – yeah, um, um, I'm pretty sure um, we got that communication handled. So communication is not been a problem this year. Um, everybody knows on the defense that in order to win, in order to be successful, we got to talk, period. Sure.